I thought I'd go old school today and play a bit of Championship Manager Season 99-2000. This game means a lot to me. It's where my love of Football Manager started. Well, technically it was Championship Manager 3 around a friend's house, but I liked that so much at the age of 10. I think it was in year 5 at school. I got my dad to go out and buy Championship Manager and he came home with this. Let's have a go then, shall we? Ah, oh, this screen, it brings back so many memories. Of course, as I said, it's the first Championship Manager I owned and it's actually the only Championship Manager I owned because I only had the demo version of 0102 out of a box of Cheerios or Shreddies. So I played this game for for many, many years. Let's let's start a new game then. And we're, we're managing England. I, I want to have a look in this video at some of like the best players around at that time. Oh, can now remove the disc apparently. I'm surprised it actually works on my Windows 10 PC, but it does. Create a password. I don't think I need to create a password. I, I, was that function there so people, you know, their older brothers wouldn't sort of break onto their game and remove all of their best players? So I've taken control of Manchester United, who at the time were, were the best team around under Sir Alex, of course. And we'll, we'll take a look. What I'm going to do in this video, I'm going to take a look at some of the best players in the world. Look at the Manchester United team. I didn't realise Schmeichel had left by this point. I always thought he was still in the team up until like 2001 or something, but obviously not. Their, their top goalkeeper was Mark Bosnich, I do believe. Uh, Gary Neville, at right back, of course. Cracking play, only 24 at this point. Phil Neville, age 22. Dennis Irwin, age 33. Roy Keane. The Beast, 27 years old, 20 bravery, of course, 19 aggression. I'm surprised it's not 20 aggression. 20 work, look at those. Look at all, he was an exceptional player, wasn't he, on the game? David Beckham, must have really good free kick, surely. Is it just called set pieces? Yeah, set pieces, 19, crossing 19. Paul Scholes, world-class central midfielder, only three caps for England at this point. One goal at the age of 24. Wow, I'm surprised how low it was. Is that right? I can't be right. Surely he'd earned more caps by this point. This is 1999. And he'd played at the World Cup, hadn't he, in 98? So that must be wrong. That must be an error. Teddy Sheringham, age 33. Andy Cole, prolific striker. Dwight York, another prolific striker. And Solskjaer, of course, the super sub, who's just become manager of Manchester United in real life. Nicky Butt, don't forget Nicky Butt. Are you guys interested in me doing like a season on Championship Manager 99? I've done one before on the 0102 about three years ago, uh, but I could do another one. I don't necessarily have to manage Manchester United either. Oh, this game's so old school. Ronaldinho at the age of 19. Set pieces 20. It's already been capped by uh, Brazil at this point. Four goals in seven games. Let's look at the Brazil team because they had some quality players, didn't they? Ronaldo, of course, age 22, world class. Acceleration 20, pace 20. Imagine that on Football Manager now. I think back then they did kind of... Have, it was much easier to have a 20 attribute but he that is insane 20 technique 20 balance where's his finishing or shooting was it called shooting it was called finishing actually 18 on finishing crazy player Romario was still playing at the age of 33 he's got acceleration of 20 and pace of 19 at the age of 33 Rivaldo 27 in his prime what a player he was apart from the diving and stuff Roberto Carlos Legendary left back at the age of 26. This Brazil team was ridiculous, wasn't it? But of course, they had lost uh, the World Cup final against France in, at the previous season. So let's have a quick look at the French team. Barthez in goal. Was this the year that Man United signed Barthez? It was around about this time. Nicolas El and Elker at the age of 20. Trezeguet at the age of 21. They had some really good young players. Zidane, he was only 27 in 1999. In his prime. Creativity 20, dribbling 20, passing 20, flair 20, 20 technique, what a player. Makaleli, that he had his own role named after him, the Makaleli role when he was at Chelsea. He was playing for Celta at this point. Manuel Petit, was he at France? Uh, France, obviously at France, Arsenal, that's what I meant to say, Arsenal. Thierry Henry, he's 21. Blimey, he's, they, they just look so good. These players, but I know back then they did. They did, like I said, it was easier to get higher rate, higher attributes. This is the England team. So David Seaman still in, in goal at the age of 35, and Nigel Martin. Remember him, Nigel Martin. Now I'm so I'm 20. I've just I've turned 27 back in October. So just so you know, if if you're a similar age to me, you'll remember some of these players just about. Um, I mean, I don't really remember much from 1999 to be honest. I was I was only. 
well, seven going on eight. Darren Anderson, I just, all I remember about him was he got injured all the time. But I think he was actually quite a good player. M M Michael Owen, in his prime, age 19. Acceleration and pace of 20, finishing of 17. Very high determination. Alan Shearer, quality striker. He's in his prime as well, age 28. Robbie Fowler. We had some really good strikers back then. And there was like a such a massive range of strikers and there was a lot of strikers that just didn't even get into the England team because there was some real quality wasn't there Steve McManaman obviously went to Real Madrid and kind of overlooked by maybe the English media because he was at Real Madrid Jamie Redknapp was actually quite a decent central midfielder Tony Adams age 32 Graham Lasso at left back Lee Bowyer, we had some really good players. There's Gareth Southgate at the age of 28, 19 caps for England. Kieran Dyer, before he started to get injured every single week. Barcelona have just signed Del Piero from uh, Juventus for almost 20 million pounds. That was a hell of a lot of money back then. But you did see some really big transfers, they were just one-offs and it was usually between like Real Madrid, Juventus, AC Milan, Barcelona, those sorts of teams. It, it didn't quite happen so much in England, those massive mega buck deals. And oh, you can skip through so quickly. It literally said nine days to the next match. I press continue and I'm here. What tactics should we play? Passing, mix, tackling, let's go hard. Pressing, yeah, let's press. Gagan press in 1999. Offside trap, counter attack. Let's try and fit as many sort of weird roles in as possible. Register, false nine. Inverted wing back. None of that. It was just let's just play bog standard 4-4-2. And you, you'd have sort of the with the ball sort of thing. So you could click. I could have sworn you could click. I thought you could click on oh there you go, right click on that. So we're, we're, depending on where you're up the pitch. So if you're if the ball's here, this is the formation you'd be in. And then without the ball, you could select here. And so, you know, they're just like in their flat fours. Uh, it's just it was a fun game, Championship Manager. A lot simpler, but at the same time, I mean, you had a little bit more control with this, I suppose. I mean, it has kind of come back. It's just it's just different now on Football Manager, the way it's represented. But I think the match engine's quite similar. They're like all the coding is quite similar, I think. Can I get my assistant to pick the team? I don't think I had you had the option back then. I think you have to choose it yourself. Oh, Ryan Giggs is injured. I didn't show you Ryan Giggs. Should we play, we'll play him anyway. Yeah, I'll show you a match. Obviously, there's no 2D match engine. There's no 3D match engine. It's commentary only. So if you want me to do a series, you won't be able to see what's going on on the pitch. You just have to imagine. This is what I did. I literally imagined what was happening. It was it was a great way to just sort of, I don't know. It sounds a bit sad, I know. But you'd just watch the commentary and you'd imagine it in your head. You'd occasionally get up and reenact a goal. Was, was that only me? Like, in the living room? Age 10, just reenacting a goal. It was usually a goal against me, to be fair. I was, I was terrible at this game. I managed Man United. So I'm a West Ham fan. So my first save was West Ham, but my, my second save was Man United. And I remember being in the relegation zone after like a third of the season. And rather than getting sacked, I just, I resigned. I did the right thing. Hearts versus Manchester United then. First friendly of the season. See, look, commentary only. You can have the match stats up. You can have this, the action zones, the match report, heart stats, player ratings. I used to have the player ratings at most of the time, I think. And then the commentary would go to the bottom. And then you could speed up the commentary. We'll go to fast. We don't need it on... We won't have it on very fast because you won't be able to see what's going on. But, yeah, we don't need it on slow. And you just you just sat, sit here and let the game go by. I'd usually wander off, to be fair. Maybe I should do that to be realistic. And then you'd come back and you're like 3-0 down. And as a, as a child, you, you know, you, you, you cheat, you do naughty things. You end up becoming manager of the opposition team and moving all their players to the wing and having no goalkeeper or something like that. And then you win 57-0. Those were the days. I remember Freddie Canute scoring 21 goals in one match one, once upon a time. Let's change things up a bit, eh? And then, you'd, you know, you'd eat, you'd eat food, eat some soup whilst, uh, whilst watching the world go by. We'll move Beckham and Giggs up. Or, or we could, alternatively, play it. No, we'll, we'll move them up. I don't really know what I'm doing. What a game this was, though. I don't understand how it was so much fun, considering you can't see what's going on. Picked up a couple yellow cards. Come on, lads, we should be winning this game. Remember any of these uh, Hearts players? To be honest, I don't. I like this name, though. Jose Quetongo. I think my game was came in a box, and you had, like, the instruction. I found that the other day. Where did I put it? Like, it had, like, instructions, and it told you about tactics, and it told you different things. I'll have to try and dig that out, because that was fantastic. Their goalkeeper's having a blinder. Eight. 
Uh, this always used to happen to me. The opposition would always have, the goalkeepers would have blinding matches. Let's go a bit direct. I'm going to bring on uh, Sheringham. We're on the attack. Giggs is through. Oh, lads, do something. Here we go again. Bit of red, now it's uh, Hearts. You know, Hearts were always my Scottish team. I did a heart save on FM18, of course. And the first time I managed Hearts was on FM05. Always had a soft spot for them ever since. Oh, we've scored. Sheringham finds the back of the net. Apparently it was headed in. Our super sub. We, we've got to bring on the other super sub, uh, Solskjaer as well, don't we? And David May. Who's David May? I don't really know him, if I'm honest. I kind of recognise the name just from back in the day playing this game, but I don't ever remember him actually playing in real life. And that's Championship Manager 19 I know oh, guys. That's that's the way it rolls. <laughs> we've, we've won 1-0. It's just so quick. I mean, I could play a season in about half an hour, I reckon. So, see, I've gone to the next friendly already. What? How has that happened so quickly? To be fair, it was only a two-day gap. We've got... Uh, what, we've, I think we're doing a tour of Scotland by the looks of it. And then Arsenal Charity Shield match. But, yeah, uh, do you want me to Do you want me to make a, a series on this? Do you want me to, to do something? I could do a, a championship manager experiment. I could holiday and just see how long it takes to get to 2019. It'd probably only take about half an hour. Be great. These are all the transfers going on at the Edgar Ed Davids has moved to to Milan for 16.25 million pounds. Christian Besedas from uh, Velez de Betis. There were probably some really good Wonder Kids on this game, but I never really found Wonder Kids. But I remember the Wonder Kids on 0102, but I'm not sure about 99 because Two Madeira he was nine, he was on 0102, wasn't he? I don't think he was on this game. Of course, he was a fake player after all that but yeah thank you for watching this video something a little bit different i hope you enjoyed it you get to just have a nostalgic blast uh just brings back memory uh, memories i'm sure i mean there, there is really a limit as to what you can do and what you can look at like this there's, there's so many more buttons now on the game training do you remember training like you'd create these sorts of things here and i remember downloading or printing off all the perfect training routines uh off, off the internet and uh implementing them and it would work quite well after a while. This is the Premier League from 1900. Wimbledon were in it. That's how long ago it is. Wimbledon were in the top flight. Coventry City were in the top flight. Sheffield Wednesday. Well, thank you for watching. If you do want me to do a series, hit that like button. Let me know in the comment section below. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I don't usually play the old games, but you know, maybe, maybe I will do a series. That's up to you guys. Till next time, enjoy Football Manager. Enjoy Championship Manager. Enjoy the rest of your day. See you very soon.